with yet another DJ's Brew 2 beer review. And I've got another winter seasonal for you guys. It's Highland Brewing Company, Asheville, North Carolina, Thunderstruck Coffee Porter. ACDC has a song like that, don't they? I like that song. Anyways, this is an American Porter. 5.9% ABV, 26 IBUs. They use four malts and four hops in this beer, and they use a pound and a half of coffee per barrel, and they're using Dynamite Coffee, which is a local, organically produced, fair trade coffee. Damn. Highland Brewing Company is one of the older breweries in, in Asheville, North Carolina. I think they're one of the first. They're one of the older craft breweries in the, in the United States. They started in the 1990s. Boy, getting tongue-tied there. That's a lot. That must mean I'm ready for a beer, guys. If I'm getting tongue-tied, that means it's time for me to drink so I can chillax. So anyways, enough BS on this one. Highland Brewing Company, let's get the cap popped on it. Boom. Right off the top. Lovely Highland Brewing Company crown. You can add that to the collection. Lots of smoke coming off the top of the bottle. Just want to mention, I got this from Brad at Puka NC. Yay, yay. In a little trade. We don't have Highland Brewing Company in Maryland. And I haven't seen this one in Virginia very much. So, thanks a lot, my brother. If you get a chance, check out the Puka NC channel. Let's dip this bad boy in the glass. <sighs> and it's American Porter time, baby. I love some Porter and Stout. And especially American Porter. And I love coffee. So, if this has got all that stuff going on, I'm going to be a happy freaking camper. Wow, Headzilla. Here we go. It's not a completely black beer. It's really, really dark brown. And as you can see by the head, it's a really deep mocha head. We'll put this up to the camera for you so you can see it better. Lovely looking beer. It is pretty black. There's just the tiniest bit of ruby on the edges, but it's nearly black. Really nice mocha colored head. Real dark ca cafe sort of looking head. We got three solid fingers here. Depends how big your fingers are too. When you swirl it, you're not getting any alcohol legs. The head's fairly slow to dissipate, and it's a really nice looking beer. Let's get a nose on this, because I'm ready to do some drinking. Jam, coffee right up front. Dark chocolate. Caramel. Sweet maltiness. But definitely, the dominant aroma is black coffee. I've been doing a lot of these coffee stouts lately because I like coffee a lot and I like black coffee. I like coffee with cream sometimes too, but this smells like sweet black coffee. Like you put a lump of sugar in your black coffee, maybe an espresso, because it's definitely on the darker side. It's got that, almost that ground smell, like when you smell the coffee grounds. So I'm gonna take a taste of this. I'm gonna let this warm up more so we'll have a part two to this, but let's get a sip on it and a first shot. Wow, big coffee, dark slash milk chocolate in the taste, and a bit of caramel as well. I'm going to let this warm up to porter temperature, 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll be back with some more comments. See you in a minute. Hey there, guys. I'm back. I've drank this one down, and I've really enjoyed this beer. Look at that epic glass lacing on that glass, guys. Really well put together beer, quality ingredients. We, this beer's got a strike against it, though. There's no date on the bottle. Why? I don't know. There's an inkjetted code on the bottom of it. That means, Ashland Brewery, you guys own an inkjet printer. You could print that date on the neck. That's not a very hard thing, especially on a below 6% alcohol by volume beer. That's an important thing to make sure you get fresh beer and you're drinking it how it's intended to be consumed. You guys have been around for a while. I'm sure you've got enough money to afford another inkjet printer, and you can do it. Get with the times. It's not the 1990s anymore. It's 2013. We expect dates on the bottles, guys. You know, get with the program. That just, that sucks. Anyways, I'll stop bitching. Really good beer. Only problem with this beer is its flavor is very one note. They're using the Dynamite Roasting Company coffee, who's fair trade, organic, all that stuff, and it's really good coffee. However, it, and it imparts good coffee flavor, like I say, however, it's it's real one note and it's so dominant that it hides the fruity flavor that's supposed to be in there and the chocolate and the caramel that you expect from a porter that are there, but they're really faint in the background and someone that doesn't have a trained palate or is used to drinking porters and really wants to look for those things, 
you're going to miss them. And that sucks because it's a good beer. So, I mean, I think it could use some more caramel flavor, some more chocolatey sort of flavor in it to kind of tone down the aggressive coffee ground sort of bitterness of the coffee flavor that's in this beer. But it is a good quality beer. Rate Beer is giving this a 95 and Beer Rabbit is giving it an 88. I don't agree with either of those grades. I'm going to give it a 90, which is a solid, which is a, the beginning of an A minus scale. Um, if it had a more rounded off flavor and a bit heavier mouthfeel, because it is a little bit watery for an American Porter, in my opinion, um, <clears throat> it could get an A. Plus, there's no date on the bottle, and there's no excuse for a brewery of Highland Brewing Company size out of Asheville, North Carolina, not to be doing that. Anyways, thanks a million for watching, guys. I'm going to stop flapping my gums, let you guys go out and buy, buy some beer, have a couple pints or something like that. And remember what I always say, think globally. Drink locally, support the craft beer movement. Let's keep this thing growing, guys. If there's a beer you want reviewed, let me know. If I can find it, I will. Until the next time, thanks a million again for watching. And that's a big, oh damn, that's a big peace out.